Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have your very own virtual genius at your beck and call? Well, buckle up, because ChatGPT5 is scaling beyond precedent to help people in their daily tasks. It's set up to mark a major leap in the world of AI. One of the most anticipated advancements in GPT-5 is going to be the improvement of its reasoning capabilities. This means that the system will be able to think about the information that we provide in a logical manner and draw conclusions beyond what it already knows. So if you throw the wildest, wackiest puzzle at ChatGPT-5, something it's never seen before, it doesn't just scratch its digital head and give up. ChatGPT-5 dives right in, making smart guesses, thinking outside the box, and emerging victorious with a solution in hand. Now, I'm allowed to scratch my mind, so let me do it while I wonder how GBT-5 will come through on its promise to improve its intelligence. I mean, it's already so intelligent, so I'm still scratching my head. But GPT-5 is going to get better at predicting what might happen next to give better and more correct answers to your questions. In a recent interview with Sam Almond, he mentioned having a chat with Bill Gates about how GPT-5 will get better at being a smart human. Sam spilled the beans about how crucial it is for AI to level up its problem-solving skills. And boy, did ChatGPT-5 listen. They mentioned the idea of AI being able to think through problems just like a human would. This means that GPT-5 will take a little longer to respond to the questions that you input. The system will take a moment to realize your needs and process the information you fed before blurting out an answer. We all know that ChatGPT gives an instant answer to a question at the very second that you click on enter, and that's impressive. But when the answer is not something you're looking for, it makes you wonder if the machine would just take a minute to understand what you asked. And ChatGPT-5 will do just that. Now, if we talk about GPT-4, it was only able to think through problems in a very basic way. If you ask me, I've beaten my head against the wall quite a few times while talking to GPT-4. It was like getting the same answer 10,000 times, even though I didn't ask for it. It was quite limited in understanding what I actually wanted, and it's quite hard for AI to understand which answer is best every single time. I hope I can get some better answers with GPT-5, which brings me to the personalization options. I'll get to the user personalization that GPT-5 will offer in a moment, but let's talk about the context window for a minute to understand its capabilities first. Consider GPT-5 in its context window as its usable memory space for recalling what it has read or been told. So when you're trying to comprehend a story, it's best to be able to recall every detail from the beginning rather than just snippets. GPT-5 can retain more information at once if the context window is longer. This can be used in understanding complex materials, such as an extended email, a large computer code, or an entire conversation. There's talk that the GPT-5 will feature an even larger memory for applications like this. The context window of GPT-4 Turbo is currently at 128,000 tokens. GPT-5 may now increase that total to 200,000 words. The GPT-5 can handle far lengthier text or data, including in-depth conversations, lengthy movies, or enormous amounts of computer code because of its larger reading memory. And it'll do more than just read them. It'll comprehend them thoroughly enough to identify issues, offer solutions, or even evaluate a movie's plot. This advancement in capability creates new avenues for our application of AI. Imagine this. GPT-5 could speed up the examination of lengthy legal documents by lawyers, help debug programs by providing a comprehensive picture of the complete program, or support film analysts in dissecting intricate movie themes and plots. The expectation is not unfounded. Google's Gemini significantly increased its own memory capacity to 10 million tokens that it can evaluate simultaneously. This action has created a stir and inspired OpenAI and other industry players to push the envelope even further. Now, let's circle back to the idea of user personalization. Imagine if the AI could remember all the stuff you're into, your favorite topics, how you like your info served up, even your personal sense of humor. It's like talking to a friend who just gets you, you know? They know what makes you tick, what floats your boat, and they're always there with a perfect suggestion or joke. With GPT-5 in the picture, the whole personalization game is about to hit new heights. We're talking about an AI that's not just a good listener, but a great rememberer too. It'll take notes on your interest, your job, and maybe even your late night existential crisis, and use all that juicy info to make its recommendations even more tailored to you. 
Multimodality is another upgrade that we're looking for in GPT-5. GPT-5 would understand and communicate through different types of data, not just text, but also speech, image, and videos. This means GPT-5 could get a whole lot better at handling a variety of tasks and giving responses that cover more ground. You could casually chat with GPT-5 about a photo, asking what's in it, or even creating a beautiful story based on the photo. Or you could describe a scene with your words and ask GPT-5 to draw it for you. With this step towards multimodality, GPT-5 would become even more adaptable and able to help in more intricate and imaginative ways. For example, GPT-5 can generate a quick drawing based on an idea for a project you're working on. Alternatively, it can assist you in comprehending a video that's in a language you don't know by deciphering the speech and assessing the video's content. This makes AI more adaptable and integrated into our daily lives and work, opening a universe of possibilities for how we engage with it. The next big development in GPT-5 could be its vision skills. This suggests that GPT-5 could become far more adept at comprehending visual media rather than just text. AI is currently capable of identifying images, much like how you would be able to identify a cat when you see one. However, it's anticipated that this capacity will advance with GPT-5. Think about the possibility that it could identify the cat in the photo and comprehend the context, such as whether the feline is chasing a toy or is just sitting there looking adorable. With this increase in vision capabilities, GPT-5 could be useful in a lot of unexpected ways. Just like a faster reaction time increases human agility, faster interference speed increases AI's responsiveness and efficiency. The speed at which an AI system can interpret, analyze, and produce an output from input data is known as inference speed. It is anticipated that GPT-5 will operate far faster than its predecessors. This increases GPT-5's usefulness for time-sensitive jobs by enabling it to process and reply to queries almost instantly with accurate results. For example, if you were using GPT-5 to translate a conversation in real time, the quicker inference speed would result in less lag time between the spoken words and the translation. This could be a game changer for industries like healthcare, where quick and accurate AI-generated diagnoses could make a significant impact on patient outcomes. As AI becomes more integrated into our lives, it's our responsibility to use it ethically and without bias. Since AI systems can only be as objective as the data they're trained on, biased data will probably cause the AI system to reinforce its prejudices. There is a push to make sure that the GPT-5 is trained and applied in an impartial and ethical manner. This entails taking action to guarantee that the representative and diverse set of data being used to train GPT-5 is obtained. It also entails putting policies in place to identify and address biases in the output that GPT-5 produces. This is a crucial step in ensuring that AI is being used to benefit everyone, not just a select few.